Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Choices Channel, Reborns and more. And I just wanted to jump on really quick y'all because I got a few packages and stuff I wanted to share with y'all that I got from Amazon. And if it's an echo, I'm sorry. The rooms are empty. They got painted and got new windows put in. So, yeah, the rooms are empty. So, anyway. And look, I got Sebastian here with me. He's going to help me open packages. Hello, everybody. Yep. So, first thing that I have, I ordered some um, really nice um, pacifiers for them. That I have been wanting. This is so pretty and shiny. So like there's some sublimation things that you can put in here on the pacifiers. Hold on, let me check it out first. This is the chain for the pacifier. I'm gonna put that down. See, it's so pretty, y'all. Mix the pacifier. Let me move the camera a little bit. You can see better. Mix the pacifier. It's pretty. This is a rose gold one, I think. Yeah, that's a rose gold. And I got. A gold one. And these are for the girls. Pretty much. For the girls. It's so pretty. Shiny. I love shiny and sparkly. That's my favorite thing. And last but not least, a silver one. See, it's pretty. So. so pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. I don't know if I'm just gonna add like the little silver pieces in there, I guess to make it a little bit more custom or if I'm gonna maybe fill it in with some more stones on the inside, but I'm not gonna like add the pictures and stuff in here. I don't know if I'm gonna take time to do sublimation and add pictures. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Cause then it's like, it belongs to one certain baby and I wanna be able to mix it around, so. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. If I'm going to put letters or I don't know yet. But I also got some of these because I've been seeing these on y'all's babies. And I've been like, I want some of those. And I finally got some of those long socks that I've been wanting with the pretty bows from Amazon. I love Amazon. It's like shopping from home, but like with immediate gratification, like it comes next day, most of the time, or two days, so that's pretty cool. I got a black pair, sorry, I got a black pair. These are black with a pretty little black bow. And the pink with a pretty little pink bow. And I got... Way more pattern than I thought. Okay. And I got the white ones. And I got these pretty green, hunter green ones. Those are really pretty. Those are really pretty.
then I got some red ones. Like a, I don't know, they're not red, red. The bow is red, red, but the sock is like burgundy. That's pretty. Or a deep red, maybe not burgundy, but like a deep red. And my favorite of colors, gray. Had to get a gray pair. Those are really pretty too. The gray pair with the gray bow. So you guys, that's the stuff that I got from Amazon. I just wanted to jump on quickly and me and Sebastian, my pookie man. And you don't need that. And share um, the little mini gratification haul that I got today. I'm a shopaholic, guys. So I get packages almost every day or either going out shopping. That's what I do most of my time to make me happy, feel happy if I'm sad. Um, so, yeah. And also, too, um, something that was kind of on my mind. So, I don't know if I shared this because I haven't been on that much. Is I'm waiting for a baby um, to come. Um, and it's my first custom baby, I would say. Not first, but um, if you do have watched my videos and follow my channel, I talked a little bit about my first experience, well, kind of like my second experience, um, in the community and being scammed, um, by an artist who never, um, who never furnished me my baby. So... That was very disappointing and it has made it, it's like traumatized me a little bit and made it hard for me to trust ordering or purchasing uh, babies from artists because, I mean, these are large transactions, it's you know, or or not large, but expensive transactions. These babies, we all know, are not cheap. Um, a lot of people save their money to be able to purchase or adopt their dream baby. And for someone to come along and prey on someone's desires and someone's wants is terrible. And it makes it hard in the community for you to trust even people that some people would say is a reputable artist um, sometimes. So with that being said, I am, I want to say patiently waiting on my baby, but I don't have any patience. And so, like I just said, I like kind of instant gratification, which is why I had been sticking to ready to ship babies. But when I saw this baby, I was too late to purchase this baby because another YouTube mommy that I follow have purchased this baby and it was so funny because I was looking at the baby and then I seen her video and she was doing her box opening and she was like she's finally here and she was talking about it and I'm just like when she opened it up I'm like wait a minute this baby looks so familiar because I'm still getting familiar with the sculpts and like you'll like I started being able to know the sculpts like instantly like, oh, okay. Oh, that's a Peaches. Oh, that's a Grumpy Grace or that's a Saskia or that's a um, Levi or, and once you start seeing these sculpts, you start to know who these, who these sculpts are. So I'm like, I think that's the same baby. So, I contacted um, the artist 
And she did indeed tell me that she had sold or that I hate to say sold. I don't know why that bothers me. I know that their babies are not real, but I like to say adopted. Um, sometimes I get caught up in financial jargon, but mostly I like to say um, adopted. So I was sad. And then she offered um, to, oh, look at his hair, y'all. It's all smushed down. I gotta do something to his hair. She offered to do a custom baby for me. And I was happy about that because I really want this baby. You guys, give me one moment. I'll be right back. I'm going to get something to do something to my poor Sebastian's hair. He's had this hat on for a minute. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I can't have him looking like this in the camera. He's like, Mommy, what are you doing? No. <laughs> so, I'm going to fix his hair and then I'll put him back, you guys, for your viewing pleasure. But, um... Well, maybe I could just turn the camera a little bit and it will. No, it's not working. You guys can just look at the goodies while I talk about this. But, um, so, what was I? Yeah, I like to say adopted. I don't like to say purchased and, and stuff like that. So, anyways. So, she offered to make me a custom and I was happy about that so I paid a deposit for her to start working on my custom baby that I really really wanted still want and I was happy um, well, no, let me back up. That's not what happened. I reached out to her first. She offered that. And then I reached out to the, um, YouTuber mommy who purchased the baby from her or adopted the baby from her previous, the one that I wanted to meet. Just to see how her experience was with this artist. Because I had already been burnt before. And I'm like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can't do it again. This is, this is, mm-mm. No, not again. Um, and she said that her experience was good. Um, that they had good communication and so forth and so on so i mean i don't know this youtuber but i follow her and nobody's word is gospel but i trust her word because she's a big collector in the community she has a lot of babies she works with a lot of different artists to my knowledge and I trusted what she said, which is not on her at all, because I ultimately made the decision to go with this artist. And I'm not even saying anything bad about the artist at this point. I, I just, I just want to know from you guys in the community. Um, it's been a couple of months. Um, the communication was great. Okay, I don't want to say great. It was okay. And, um, I know she, that artist had some things that transpired just like anybody does because we're humans that may have slowed down the process. And I was okay with that. Um, I'm okay with that. And, um, they communicated that with me and that was fine. And then I also got some, a progress pick and, um, I'm okay with that. We talked about the baby being done pre prior to Christmas. And that wasn't something that I said that they had to accommodate. It wasn't a, necessarily a Christmas baby. And then I wanted them, you know, take their time. I don't want to rush 
I don't like to rush greatness. You can't rush greatness because <laughs> I want this baby to be everything that I want. So that was fine. And after that communication, I want to say this was at the beginning of December. I haven't heard a thing. And that's where I am a little like, hmm, what's going on? I haven't heard anything. Um, my reaching out has not been responded back to. And y'all, I'm nervous. I am going to be sad about, well, I don't, I don't think that I would lose my money because it's PayPal. And I think that there's recourse on PayPal through goods and services, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm like, okay, I should have some type of recourse there. But guys, I, I want my baby. I want my baby. Like, yeah, I want my baby. And I'm just like, how long do I wait with no response before I take action, like to ask for a refund? Um, Because... I don't want to agitate the artist. I don't want to frustrate her or come across um, unsympathetic. I, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know if they're maybe going through something. You never know in life. But I just feel like that in this type of process, communication is key. Even when you're going through something, there is a business aspect to this, and I feel like you should at least reach out and say, hey, haven't forgotten about you, a little busy, uh, give me three weeks, a week, two weeks, a month. Um, or guess what? I'm sorry. At this time, I'm not going to be able to accommodate your request and I can offer you this or we can do this. Options, you know, and it's frustrating um, because you have to put a lot of trust in this process as a buyer and sometimes get burnt. And I know sellers get burnt too. Um, but it's just, this is hard. So yeah, I just, I don't know how long I should wait to do that, but I'm nervous, you know? I'm also like, hopefully they're okay, you know, because things unfortunately are happening in the world and are out of control. And I don't personally know this person. So how would I know anything? I wouldn't know that. So it's crazy and it's scary, you know, but hopefully what I'm hoping is that there is a rainbow at the end of this process and I get my baby because I really, 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 really want this baby. He's back, guys. Say hi, guys. I got my hair back, everybody. I got my nice hair back. He's back. Can you see him? Let me put him back in the camera. He's back with his nice hair. He has some nice hair. I love it. And guys, I don't know. This stuff is great. This stuff is great. I picked this up at Macro Baby here and it's for, it's called Magic Detang Detangular Conditioner Spray for dolls and girls. And it smells so sweet and it's awesome. Um, and it does wonders on their hair. I've been using it and I love it. Sometimes I mix it down in some water too because it is kind of thick. Um, and I'm trying to test it now to see if it's going to leave any type of residue, but I haven't been using it that long. But I don't want to bore you guys or drag it on. I just was wondering, maybe you guys can give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace and love.